Dr. David Heber, graduate of Harvard Medical School and esteemed director of the UCLA Center for Human Nutrition, championing the worldwide battle against human obesity through a lifelong dedication to the science of human nutrition. Three decades of research and a commitment to helping save people's lives, resulting in Dr. Heber's direction of research by the National Institutes of Health, Center for Dietary Research and Botanicals, and the National Cancer Institute's Funded Critical Nutrition Research Unit, exploring cutting-edge theories of herbal supplementation and pioneering ideas of meal replacement. Director of the Mark Hughes Cellular and Molecular Nutrition Laboratory, Chairman of the Medical Advisory Board of Herbalife International, and now here to help you attain your best possible shape, Dr. David Heber. Today, everyone's talking about obesity. You've seen it in the headlines. One out of two Americans is overweight. One out of three is obese. Countries like Japan that have always had a healthy diet today find that obesity has increased from 5% to 20% of the population. This is a worldwide epidemic. For the first time in human history, there are two billion overweight people and two billion underweight people in the world with the two numbers equal for the very first time in human history. So what's happened in the last 20 years? I like to say it's not the fish, it's the aquarium. We haven't changed. Our genes are the same. They've been in our bodies for 50,000 years. What's changed is our diet and our lifestyle. We have fast foods. We eat a lot of snacks. We're stuck in our cars commuting. We have sedentary jobs sitting at a computer all day. If we can understand our bodies, understand how they work, we can solve this problem together. So the first step is understanding your body shape and understanding your body fat and understanding your body protein. People come in all different shapes. Men can get body fat mostly in the upper body. Women get it either in the upper or lower body. That upper body fat is fat that allows you to hang on to calories while you search for food. You may go days without food in an ancient jungle. You need that upper body fat. Women, the lower body fat is there to allow you to breastfeed a newborn infant. It responds to female hormones. It too is an important organ in your body, just like your heart, your kidney, or your brain. Understanding how it works and understanding how your diet relates to your body shape, your body fat, and your body protein is the key to being successful. Now I've got lots of different patients that I've sat with over the last 30 years. Typically a big man with a lot of upper body fat tells me, oh I can lose weight anytime I want. I can cut my steak in half and I'll lose 20 pounds. The bad side of that is he thinks he can lose weight anytime he wants. So he doesn't care what he eats every day. He might be eating a 14-ounce steak and some onion rings. On the other end of the spectrum, I've got a small woman who wants to lose weight but can't. She's following all the rules, eating the right foods, but because her metabolism is slow due to a low level of body protein, she's not able to lose weight as easily. And in every weight loss group, women usually lose weight more slowly than men. So what's the key to understanding your body? You have to know your body protein, match the protein in your diet to the protein in your body and understand that we each have our personal best shape. One size does not fit all. Understanding your body shape is the first step toward losing weight and getting to your personal best shape in the most effective and easiest way possible. So let's get to understanding your body, understanding your body shape, understanding your body fat and how it relates to your diet and lifestyle. The first thing I would do when I sit down to teach you how to understand your body is to determine the amount of protein that's in your body. Protein is extremely important. It helps to maintain healthy muscles and organs in your body. If you don't eat enough protein in your diet, your body will steal protein from your muscles, liver, and other organs. If there's not enough protein in your diet, you won't have enough energy to get through the day. But if you eat enough protein, you'll have a lot of energy and protein will help satisfy your hunger so you won't be as tempted to eat the wrong foods. Now how do I determine how much protein's in your body? With a very simple tool, we put two electrodes on your hands and feet, totally painless, and in a few moments, using the electrical properties of your body, I can determine how much lean and how much fat is in your body. The pounds of lean in your body will tell me how much protein you need to be eating every day. For every pound of lean in your body, you'll need to eat one gram of protein per day. So a woman with 100 pounds of lean will need 100 grams of protein a day. Her husband with 150 pounds of lean will need 150 grams of protein in his diet every day. And I can determine how many calories you burn at rest. A woman with 100 pounds of lean will burn 1400 calories a day. 
because every pound of lean burns 14 calories per day. Her husband, with 150 pounds of lean, will burn 2,100 calories a day. So now I know how much protein you need in your diet and how many calories you burn per day. How can I find out how quickly you'll lose weight on a diet? Well, it turns out that if I give you a diet that's 500 calories below what I calculate to be your resting calorie burn per day, you will lose one pound per week. And finally, I can determine your target weight. What would be the right weight for you at the proper range of body fat? All of that information in just a few minutes from this simple tool. So we're building a roadmap for you. If you are going to go on a trip to a city for vacation, you'd like to know which road do I take, how long will it take me to get there, and what's my final destination. Using this simple tool, we found a way to map out your journey to your personal best body shape. How many calories you burn per day, how much protein you'll need in your diet, how quickly you'll lose weight, and what your ultimate target weight should be. Now you know how much protein you should eat and how many calories you should be eating to lose weight properly. But how do you do it? How do you really do that during a day? Well, it's very difficult for you to eat the right number of calories by just trying to eat less of your favorite foods. What I've found works the best is the ideal meal, a healthy, protein-fortified shake that tastes as good as a smoothie. Let's look at breakfast, for example. If you eat cereal, did you know that one ounce of Raisin Bran has 190 calories? And that's just a little variety pack box. When you go to pour cereal out into your bowl, do you use one, two, or three of those variety boxes? As you can see, the calories add up pretty fast. And what about lunch? You might be at the office or you might be shopping in a mall when suddenly you get hungry. You walk out, fall into a fast food restaurant, the next thing you know you've got a hamburger, french fries, and a coke, and you've eaten a thousand calories. Scientific research shows that meal replacements, the scientific name for this protein-fortified healthy shake, if you eat two of them a day, you lose weight, eat one a day, you can keep it off for a lifetime. So that's a great habit. And how would I make that ideal meal? I'd make it out of the finest protein, soy protein. I'd make sure it was low in saturated fat and cholesterol. I'd make sure it's rich in healthy fiber. And I'd make sure it had adequate vitamins and minerals or vitamins and minerals in a separate supplement. Myself, I love to make a healthy protein fortified shake in the morning. I use some non-fat milk or soy milk. I use a healthy protein powder. And then I use another protein powder to customize the amount of protein for my personal needs. And finally, I like to use about a cup of frozen blueberries because I love the taste and the color. Blend it all up, and I've got a great shake that keeps me from being hungry all morning long. This is the way that you can lose weight effectively in a simple, fun, and easy way. The ideal meal, made up personally for your body shape, will get you to your best personal shape. Now that we've personalized your protein and we've given you a roadmap to losing weight, how can we maximize your success? Well, everyone knows that diet and exercise and behavior modification are important. For exercise, I like to use dumbbells, something you can do every day, very simple. But what about other roadblocks that are more difficult? What kinds of things do people run into? Well, for one thing, your energy level might drop when you cut your calories. To help with this, you can take green tea, caffeine, or other herbs, which will elevate your energy level. But you've got to be careful, because sometimes if you get too much energy, you can get more nervous and tend to snack more. Which brings me to the second roadblock, which is snacking. If you snack all the time, you're eating when you're not hungry, you have certain trigger foods. Maybe for you it's cheese, for another person it's nuts or pizza. Find out what your trigger foods are, and then there actually are some herbs, one of which is called Garcinia cambogia, which can help with snack eating. It's been shown in studies to reduce eating between meals. And the third most common roadblock I've run into is people not feeling regular. You cut down your food intake, so you're not taking in enough fiber. Try to eat more fruits and vegetables, and if necessary, take a fiber supplement. Using these simple steps to enhance your basic diet, exercise, and behavior lifestyle plan can help you to reach your personal best shape and maximize your chances for success.